I'm Stephan Holt and this is News for Now for Friday, December 14th. Welcome. First up, we'll talk about the weather. Some scattered showers are going to pick up tonight. The rain will stick around tomorrow morning, but it'll clear by the afternoon time. Highs will be in the 50s. Now to the news and there is outrage this evening over a Prada trinket that some equate to blackface imagery. Racism has no place in New York City. There were protests this afternoon outside the luxury brand Soho flagship over this animal charm in the store's window display. Civil rights lawyer Shenure Azie first brought attention to the figurine after returning from a trip to Washington. She said she was shaking with anger. She posted the pictures to Facebook and they spread like wildfire. Prada took them down on Friday. The fashion house maintains the items are imaginary creatures and certainly not blackface. But New Yorkers we showed the figurines to were stunned. I'm a person who cares about social justice and Prada is trash for this. In Connecticut, Sandy Hook Elementary was rattled by a bomb threat six years to the day after a gunman killed 26 people at that school. Officials say that threat was called in around 9 a.m. and coincided with a planned moment of silence at city offices. 360 students had to be cleared out of the school while police searched the campus. Turned out it was a hoax. Officials decided it would be best to close the school for the day. On Long Island, investigators have uncovered what's being called one of the most sophisticated drug labs they've ever seen. One man has been arrested in the case out of Mastic. Homeland Security investigations had been eyeing this home for weeks, and they found chemicals used to make drugs on Thursday night. Sources say there was enough ecstasy and marijuana inside to make it a federal case. And neighbors told us that things had been off at the house for more than a year. I, we've actually called police on activity going on night and day. It just looks suspicious. I've called police before. Just one day after interviewing with the president, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie says he does not want to be the next White House chief of staff. The news came hours after reports indicated that he was the president's top choice for the position. Christie said in a statement it wasn't the right time for him or his family to take on the job. Wow, wow. Oh my God. And remember that Brinks truck that spilled all that cash over a highway in New Jersey yesterday? Turns out more than a half a million bucks went flying all over the road. Police say they are still missing nearly 300 grand from yesterday's spill, and they're begging anyone who might have picked up some of that cash to turn it in. So far, just five people have forked over about $11,000 worth of lost money. That's all for News 4 Now. You can stick around after this for a full report on that blackface backlash at Prada. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in. Racism has no place in New York City. Handing out flyers in front of an iconic high-end store where one day earlier, the Prada windows at Broadway and Prince looked like this. I'm horrified. The displays had featured animal charms and figurines that evoked blackface. Civil rights lawyer Chinure Azie had just returned from a Washington museum and an exhibit on blackface when she saw the Prada displays. Everyone who saw those images from there forward were just shocked, as shocked as I was. She posted Thursday night on Facebook and word spread fast. I was, I was angry. It ruined my day. The company in a statement said Prada Group abhors racist imagery. The Pradmalia are fantasy charms composed of elements of the Prada oeuvre. They are imaginary creatures not intended to have any reference to the real world and certainly not blackface. Prada Group never had the intention of offending anyone and we abhor all forms of racism and racist imagery. In this interest, we will withdraw the characters in question from display and circulation. By Friday morning, the display is down, but demonstrators tried to convince customers to boycott the store. Let me just show you this, sir. Joining the boycott, City Councilman Jamani Williams, who walked into the store to see a manager and left not satisfied. They need to come out and say, we effed up. Any money that was made off this needs to be donated to organizations that are fighting the bigotry and brutality we see from black and brown bodies. And those just seeing the images for the first time couldn't believe it. Unacceptable. Like, I mean, that's blatantly really obvious that's blackface. 